Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mons Geek Ice 75 that was sent over to me by Mons Geek themselves for my honest review. Now this keyboard starts at a price point of $69.99 so it is very budget friendly and comes in three different colorways, pink, blue, and purple. This keyboard is truly unique as it features a fully transparent design with clear polycarbonate keycaps, Aco V3 Crystal Pro switches, and a transparent acrylic case. Inside the box, you get the keyboard itself, some switch pullers, gaskets, which we'll talk about later. Last but not least, you also do get a coiled cable. Unfortunately, it is not color coordinated, but white still matches pretty nicely with this keyboard. The reason why they include gaskets is because this keyboard can be either top mounted or gasket mounted and for a price point of only $69.99 offering two different mounting styles in the same keyboard is absolutely amazing and I'm really happy to see this. The keyboard itself has plenty of foam in it so you probably won't need to take it apart in my opinion but the only place where it does kind of have some issues are the stabilizers. So the stabilizers included are screw and stabilizers, but they do have some ticking issues that I noticed, which means taking it apart and trying to modify it might be a bit of a pain for people because as you all know, the only way to take out screw and stabilizers is to remove all of the keycaps and switches as well. The switches themselves, like I said, are the Aco V3 Crystal Pros, which are very nice right out of the box. I don't necessarily think you have to lube them. They sound nice, they feel nice, and they're just a great budget linear. So if you don't want to buy this keyboard, they're still really great and you can buy them separately. Another issue I have with this keyboard comes in the keycaps. It is very hard to see the legends on these keycaps when the RGB is on because the legend color they chose is white. I also think that the thickness of the keycaps or just the keycap quality in general is subpar. You get to hear that sort of plasticky sound signature, but it's not super apparent like it is on others. But besides that, this keyboard is south facing, has PE foam pre-installed, a silicone dampener on the bottom so you can still see the RGB on the bottom of the keyboard, plate foam as well. And of course, it is hot swap. So overall, you are getting a great keyboard right out of the box. Here's a quick sound test of how it sounds. When it comes to the sound side of things, I do think it sounds pretty decent. It leans more to the clackier side of things, which is mainly due to the fact that it's using fully acrylic housing and just polycarbonate in general, I've noticed tends to lean towards the higher pitch sounding keyboards. With that being said, overall this keyboard, despite it having two flaws that I mentioned, which was the keycap quality and the stabilizers I do still think is a great purchase especially because you have customization at this low of a price point where you can swap mounting styles if you choose to do so. For the price of $70 I do think the i75 is definitely worth checking out and I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below if you're interested. But other than that let me know what you guys thought about the Mons Geek i75 in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.